Dear all, I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of sensors and transducers. In this video, I'm going to discuss how amplitude modulation is significance in the field of telemetry. Let us discuss brief in amplitude modulation and how it is implemented in telemetry. Moving on to the definition of amplitude modulation. The process by which the amplitude of carrier wave is varied in accordance with the modulating signal is known as amplitude modulation. The meaning is we have a signal, but if you want to transmit a signal, it is not viable, it is not feasible. So we are going to vary the pattern of signal with respect to a carrier signal. That is known as the amplitude modulation. Here we are mainly focusing on the changes in the amplitude. Here frequency is kept constant. That is why it is known as amplitude modulation. Okay. The operating range of amplitude modulation, which is given as 1550 kilohertz. The major advantages, it is very easy to implement and uh, simple demodulation. Using a simple diode, you can uh, go for demodulation. For transmitting, we are, we are going to do, we are uh, mixing uh, the carrier wave with the message signal. We have carrier signal and message signal and we are changing the pattern, the amplitude we are going to change. Once it is transmitted for a certain distance, we are going to demodulate. Demodulate means the demodulation is nothing but the separation of the signal. Am I right? The separation of the message signal and the carrier signal. We, we need to extract the signal now. For ultimately, we require the original message signal. We have to separate the message signal from the carrier signal. That is called a demodulation. So demodulation also will be very simple. If I talk about the drawbacks, the operating range of amplitude modulation is very less compared to other type of modulation. And the efficiency, if you talk about efficiency, that is also very less. So the quality, if we talk about the quality, audio quality, that is also poor. And uh, uh, the parameters, especially the, sig uh, the signal strength of that, uh, the power signal, the power level is also very less in case of amplitude modulation. So this is regarding uh, the basics of amplitude modulation. Remember that the frequency of the signal that will be remains constant in case of amplitude modulation. Now I would like to show you the simple diagram of amplitude modulation. So as you can see, we have a baseband signal. It is also known as message signal. Okay, you can note down message signal. Message signal. What is my objective? My objective is to transmit the message signal for a long distance. For example, the message signal may be the output of uh, the measuring instruments or it may be the output of a signal conditioning device. What is my requirement? I need to transmit the message signal for a certain distance. What is the technique which can be used? Yes, modulation. In which modulation we are going to use? Here we are going to use amplitude modulation. So what you are going to do is we have a constant frequency carrier signal. You can see the constant frequency. The frequency number of cycles per second remains same only. You can see the uh, carrier signal which is the frequency is, remains constant but amplitude is different. Now you are mixing the message signal with the carrier signal. In the mixing of message signal and the carrier signal. That is why I put a plus. Then uh, what is your, uh, you are going to get? You are going to get the amplitude, the modulated signal you are going to get. You can see the pattern of modulating signal. It is having uh, the different band. Okay, you can see the different layers. Different layers you can see. Moreover, uh, in this region, you can see the maximum amplitude where here you can observe the minimum amplitude. So this signal is capable of transmitting for a long distance. You can transmit the signal for certain device. From place one to place two, you can transmit it. I think it's clear to everybody. Mathematically, uh, the general equation of message signal can be written as uh, m of t. It is represented a time domain that is m function of time that is equal to am into cos 2 pi f m into t. So what is am? am is nothing but the amplitude of the message signal. Uh, it is a cosine function. Okay. So f m is the frequency of base signal or message signal. Okay. That is called the m of t. If I talk about the carrier signal, for transmitting we require a carrier signal. 
the general expression for carrier signal can be written as the C of T is equal to AC into cos 2 pi FC into T. AC is nothing but the amplitude of the carrier signal. Look at the carrier signal. Its amplitude we have to take care into consideration. So now we need to add both message signal and the carrier signal. What we get? We are going to get the, the modulated signal we are going to get. The expression for modulated signal is given by AC plus AM into cos 2 pi FM T into cos 2 pi FC into T. Where FC is the frequency of carrier signal, FC. Okay. Uh, moreover, one more terminology is called modulation index. What do you mean by modulation index? It is a ratio of the amplitude of message signal to the amplitude of carrier signal. It is usually denoted by the letter mu. Mu is known as modulation index. Make a note of this. Okay, modulation index. While designing the system, we require this ratio, modulation index. Okay, modulation index. So these parameters you need to un understand. These are the fundamentals. I am not going for in depth. Why? Because our main area is telemetry. How we need to inspect how the amplitude modulation help in helps in telemetry system. That is the ultimate goal. So you may refer different diagrams. All diagrams are same only. I have taken from different references. We have the message signal and uh, we have the carrier signal. So you are in, uh, you are uh, uh, superimposing. Uh, the property of message signal with respect to the carrier signal and uh, we have the uh, modulator signal. So this modulator signal that is capable of transmitting for a certain distance, that is the speciality of amplitude modulation. So uh, once it is reached to the destination, we can separate message signal and the carrier signal by using any kind of demodulation technique. The carrier frequency remains constant during amplitude modulation. We can see that the FC, the frequency of carrier signal remains same. Then amplitude modulation is widely used in radio stations, broadcasting, radio station, etc. Also different applications, telemetry, definitely that is our application because the, our subject is basically sensors and transducers. So in sensors and transducers, how this amplitude modulation help us? You can say that it is suitable in telemetry system and uh, airband radio system, then Wi-Fi cellular communication. These are the different domains which you can use the amplitude modulation. I think uh, the basic idea about amplitude modulation is very clear to everybody. Uh, so any waveform you can use, I have taken from the various textbooks how the uh, process is taken place. You are changing the amplitude of message signal with respect to the carrier and uh, you are getting uh, this kind of uh, the envelope, uh, some upper envelope uh, as well as lower envelope, which we have already uh, shown in the previous uh, slides. Okay, now let us conclude. What initially what we have learned is what do you mean by amplitude modulation? The process by which the amplitude of carrier signal is varied accordance with the, the message signal or a modulating signal that is called the amplitude modulation. Range we have discussed and the pros and cons and uh, we have explained uh, with the help of a simple diagram how the amplitude modulation takes place, how it is helpful for telemetry. Even we have discussed the mathematical expression Ultimately, we have learned the applications. So if you are having any uh, doubts regarding this topic, kindly put up in the comment box. I'm go going to reply. Thank you for watching this video. In the coming, video, coming lecture, I'm going to discuss the frequency modulation. Thank you for watching this video.